People who twist the truth and try to pull you into their garbage dump. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, I've been talking a lot about codependency and people that twist the truth and people that are disrespectful. You know, I talk a lot about a lot of different subjects and I'm not an expert at it. I just share with you my viewpoints. And so I decided to talk about people that twist your words. They are people that you can say one thing and they will twist it. One day, a friend of mine was talking to somebody else and she was very calm. I was listening to the conversation and the other person uh, said to her, well, I will uh, talk to you when you're calm. And he, the person said, wait a minute, you're twisting everything. I'm sitting here calm listening to you, but you don't want to hear what I have to say. So you're uh, twisting everything to make it look like I'm not calm so that you can get off the phone so you don't have to hear the truth. Do you see what I'm saying? And so there are people that twist your words, they twist the situation, and they're manipulators. And you know, I don't wanna be around people like that because you're constantly, you're constantly on guard, you're trying to defend yourself, you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to figure, you're trying to be fair, and yet you feel that you're attacked underhandedly. So people like that are truly energy drainers and um, they're not nice. Sometimes they'll call you and then you go to call them back and they'll say, what do you want? And you'll say, well, you called me. I'm just being kind enough to return your call. So people like that, whether they're a family member, whether they're a coworker, whether they're a social person that you're in a social setting with, um, people like that are energy drainers. And if you get involved with them, um, they're going to drain your energy. What do you do if they're a family member, somebody that you love and care about? If they're an energy drainer, let them know that they're an energy drainer. You love them, but you can't be around them with that kind of behavior. And if they want to have that kind of behavior with other people, that's their choice and the other people's choices. But with you, you won't accept that kind of behavior. So unless they change that behavior consistently, and consistently is the word, you don't want to be around them. At least that's the way I think. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.